Welcome to the Wellness Gala Plus. I'm Susan Richter and the topic tonight is hair. <laughs> hair everywhere. <clears throat> I'm just going to play that in the background tonight, but it didn't happen. But <clears throat> if your hair is brittle or it's falling out or it's breaking, of course, I have very short hair, so I can't very well tell you that <laughs> that it grows long just because of what I'm going to tell you to do. But if you do want to grow your hair long and you have trouble doing that, then I have some suggestions for you. Um, in the Loomis world, there are certain symptoms that occur when you're not digesting or eating the right foods or absorbing the right foods. Um, we've talked about enzymes before, so I'm sure you remember all of that. The one specifically, for hair is fat. So if you're on a low fat diet or a no fat diet or you're avoiding fat, you're going to have trouble with your hair. And I'm here to tell you that if you're eating fat and you're still having trouble with your hair, then you're not digesting it. So the other symptoms of not digesting fat would include um, history of canker sores, cold blisters, boils, um, muscle and tendon weakness, discomfort in the lower back and buttocks, uh, slow morning starter, writer's cramp, stiffness after sitting, you know, like you get up and you feel like you're really old, and I am, but if you're not and you're getting stiff, it's because you're not eating the right fats or you're not digesting the good fats that you are eating. Other symptoms, dry skin, dandruff, hair falling out, which is what we're talking about tonight. Discomfort in the shoulders and inability to uh, deeply inhale pain in the rib cage. Um, actually, you could have a history of spontaneous abortion or an inability to conceive or induce labor. Uh, men could have a low sperm count, tremors. Um, skin manifestations or eruptions like herpes. Um, and these things can be mitigated by getting fat into your diet, good clean fat, and digesting it well and getting it into the cells that need it, like those that create your hair. Um, the enzyme that you use to digest fat is called lipase. And we um, have it in all of our digestive formulas, all eight of them. And we also have it in the formulas that provide fat from a plant source. Um, these products are called, one is called ribs, RBS, and the other is called SOAR ribs, P-S-O-R dash RBS. Um, for people that experience psoriasis because they have this same problem of not properly digesting fats. And this is what the bottle looks like. It's the Loomis label. <laughs> um, I've been using this product line since 1999 when I got Lyme disease. And I've helped a lot of women that had trouble getting pregnant or had problems female problems with these two formulas in particular. Um, the ingredients are um, not animal-based at all. I mean, we think of fats as butter and, and the fat that's in fish and omega-3s, which I'll talk about in a minute, but um, these fats are actually from a plant source. Um, this one is uh, lecithin garage oil and the ribs formula is uh, wheat germ, artichoke extract, chamomile, and kelp. And in both of these formulas, there are enough enzymes in the capsule to digest the contents of the capsule. Because if you add fat to your diet and your hair is still falling out, you're going to think I'm a quack by telling you that your problem is fat when, it, when it's already in your diet. The advantage of these is that as soon as these capsules get wet, um, the, they activate the um, 
enzymes in the capsule and the enzymes digest the herbs that are rich in essential fatty acids. And um, it corrects those problems that I just listed. It happens pretty quickly. Um, if you're, I call it the fat cascade. Um, if your problems are, for example, the protein cascade, that one takes a little longer to mitigate symptoms that come from a um, shortage of protein in your diet or a shortage of amino acids at the cellular level. And the easiest to correct are um, carbohydrate deficiencies and fat deficiencies. So the good news is if you're having trouble with hair breaking, brittle hair, hair falling out, if you see it in your um, drain in the bathroom and when you go to get your hair cut, they complain that you leave hair everywhere and when they wash your hair, this is definitely um, a fat issue of not digesting fats. And we, we want to avoid them a lot of times because we think they're going to make us fat. But they're essential to our, um, to our health. We have to have um, fats in our diet. When you go on a no-fat, low-fat diet, um, the symptoms of um, tremors and stiffness and shoulder pain and rib cage issues, you know, all of those come back if you're not including fat in your diet. A lot of people tell me, oh, well, I'm eating um, or I'm taking, uh, um, I'm taking fish oil or omega-3s, 369. And um, if you are, I want you to take a look at the label because on the label, you will see long words in parentheses. And what's, what that's telling us is that the fat that's in that formula comes from a lab. And if it's a fish oil formula, think about this, that they're getting the fish out of the water, the fish is dead, they are removing the fat from the fish and they're getting it in a soft gel and they're pouring it in a bottle and they're putting it in a box and they're shipping it all around the country and they're putting it on the shelf in the health food store where it's got, I don't know, a four-year four year, uh, life, lifespan, I, I, I'm not sure. But how, how can that happen? <laughs> because as soon as the oil from the fish hits the air, it starts to disintegrate and it starts to smell bad. And so they have to add things to that oil or take things away from that oil in order for it to stay fresh in that bottle long enough for it to get into your body. And then when it gets into your body, Digesting it is another issue because that fat has to be emulsified. So um, when you put it in your mouth, there are no enzymes in your mouth that will begin the digestion of fats because the digestion of carbohydrates starts in the mouth, but the digestion of fats doesn't start until the small intestine. But when you put the fat in your mouth, your body gets a message that there's fat on its way and it knows what to do in order to emulsify that fat and digest that fat and absorb that fat and get the fat into the cells. But it takes that long from your mouth all the way to your small intestine for that to kick in. So by the time the fat gets down into the small intestine, you're, you're going to get a, um, an emulsifier from your gallbladder called bile. And there'll be enough bile to emulsify that fat so that the enzymes that your pancreas is releasing, the lipase that your pancreas is releasing to break the fat down and turn it to essential fatty acids, uh, is coming from the from the pancreas. So first the fat gets emulsified and then it gets broken down by the lipase. So when you take fat in a plant form or it's almost water-based, but I can't say that herbs are water-based because some herbs are very rich in essential fatty acids like the ones that are in these particular formulas. These are herbs that have a lot of essential fatty acids in them plus 
they have enough lipase and cellulase to, and anything else that, it, that that herb needs to be broken down right in the capsule. All you do, swallow it, it gets wet, it's in the right pH, the um, enzymes activate, the herbs digest, and now you have access to those essential fatty acids like E and A. Um, what else is uh, what else is a fat based? Um, uh, anyway, now you have access to it. So now your body, if it absorbs it through the gut wall and gets it as far as the cell, now the cell can use that. And the cells that um, grow your hair will now get the essential fatty acids that they need in order to produce the hair or to make the hair healthy and thick and shiny and, and beautiful. I remember when I first met Dr. Loomis, um, I had a cat who wasn't well. And she was pretty much last leg. She was 17 years old. And I went home after the first seminar um, with Dr. Loomis, and I decided I was going to give a cat raw food. Because if the food is raw and it's in its natural state, there's enough enzymes in it to digest itself. All it needs is the right temperature and the right pH. And um, the cells have to be broken open and that food will digest without you working on it. So I decided I would feed the cat some raw food. And so I ground up chicken, I ground up beef, I ground up um, uh, raw fish. I gave her all these raw foods all ground up and um, she really liked them and she really went for it. And then she had some days that they were just bad days for her and she wasn't interested in eating. And I would get worried all over again about her. And um, uh, she was you know, 17 years old. And um, so I would buy um, natural, organic, canned cat food. And I would pour the enzymes right in the cat food and mix it up. And she would eat that. There were some days she just had to have, I guess, prepared food. Anyway. The cat lived another five years, and um, uh, she she her her fur came back shiny and bright, and and her spine straightened out, and um, she just she just got younger instead of getting older and sicker, and she just fell asleep one day and didn't wake up and. Um, she was healthy for those last five years of her life because I was giving her enzymes. And um, that's not exactly, you know, well, she, her, her fur got terrific. You know, she was really soft and, and um, lively again. So if you're bothered by any of these symptoms, especially since today's topic is hair, if your hair isn't shiny and it's brittle and it's dull and it's thin and it's breaking off at its roots, um, these, these um, enzymes combined with the herbs will bring a life force back to your hair. I promise. <laughs> and if you're having trouble getting pregnant or you get um, canker sores occasionally or fever blisters or anything going on with your skin, psoriasis, anything like that, um, uh, these formulas are very good for that too. So what we do um, to determine uh, which of the, the essential fatty acid formulas you need is we collect your urine for a 24 hour period and um, we send it to my lab and when that comes back, we know which food groups or group you're not digesting. And we can see very clearly um, how that ha has affected your hair. I mean, maybe you're not, maybe your thyroid isn't getting enough fat and it's unable to produce hormones because the thyroid needs um, fat and protein to make hormones. The reproductive organs need fat. So, um, and the adrenal needs protein. Uh, I think that's, oh, I forgot where I was now. Anyway, um, 
uh, we do that we yeah we do that urinalysis and it tells us the condition of the small intestine the large intestine the liver the spleen the gallbladder or the stomach um, the lungs the autonomic nervous system, the sympathetic nervous system, parasympathetic nervous system, your levels of vitamin C, magnesium, B vitamins, and, um, and we can see very clearly when you don't digest fat. Um, there's a high level of calcium oxide in your urine, and um, we might see that, uh, as I said, your thyroid has been affected, or um, uh, your catabolic index is affected, or your um, uh, reproductive organs, you might have female issues, male issues, and these are all symptomatic of um, not getting enough fat in your diet or not digesting the fat that you're eating. So um, <laughs> if you need to reach me, I'm in Denville, and my phone number is 973-586-0626. Um, check out my website. It's uh, www.nextlevelhealing.com. And there, um, everything, pretty much everything we talked about tonight is available for you to peruse at your leisure. And uh, hopefully... I'll see you soon. Um, give us a call if you have any questions. And that's all about hair and how to make it bright and healthy and, and thick. Have a great night. Bye.